Hey there, it's Amelia. And in this video, I'm going to show you the steps I took to connect my Epson wireless printer to my Windows laptop. So earlier this month, my computer hard drive went kaput, uh, even though my laptop was only two years old. But luckily, I was able to work with Dell, and now I have a new hard drive. However, the Epson driver is nowhere to be found. I did some research, and it prompted me to search for the Epson Connect Printer Setup Utility, which I've entered here. And I'm going to click to proceed to the Epson Connect Printer Setup for Windows. Okay, and now we're going to follow the steps below to enable Epson Connect for my printer. Now, I have an Epson XP410, but this should work with other types of Epson printers. My Epson printer is wireless, and I do have the Wi-Fi set up on the printer, so it should be found on my network. The first step is to download and install the Epson Connect printer setup utility, which I will click on and I see that it has downloaded. So I'm going to proceed to my download folder and then run that exe program. Okay, so here I am in my downloads folder and I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the exe for the Epson app. And it's telling me the file contains the Epson Connect Printer Utility setup. Click OK to continue. I'm gonna click next to continue through the connectivity wizard. I'll accept the terms and license agreement. Click next and click install to begin the installation. Okay, and it finished and I'll click finish. Okay, so I've already done these steps and I've already installed. Select your product and click next. And it says select my product and click next. So I can see that it's already open along my taskbar. And let me just see firewall warning. If you see a firewall message, click unblock or allow to let Epson connect printer setup continue. Okay, and I'll click next. So it did find my printer and I'm going to click next. It's already selected, so I'll proceed. Uh, yes, I want to proceed with the printer registration and I'll click next. Your printer is currently registered with Epson Connect email print. If you press yes, you will delete the existing email address from the printer and will re-register your printer with a new email address and default configuration. So I'll click yes and enter my email address. Okay, so there's another license agreement here. Review, click agree, click next. Register a printer to Epson Connect. Towards the end of your registration, a sheet will be printed to test the link between your printer and the email print service. Please ensure your paper is loaded in the printer. I'll click OK. Sending setting information to the printer. Now, while we're waiting, my printer is online and ready. I just turned it off and on before I installed this app. And here's more terms and conditions. Okay, I have read and agree. I have read and confirmed. Click next. And now it wants me to enter my address and password to create a new account. Okay, so I've entered my email address and my password twice. And then down at the bottom, I'll click finish. Okay, and then momentarily after reading this message, I could hear my printer printing. So I'm going to go over and check the printer. Okay, good news. It has printed out an Epson Connect test page and it's in black and white and color. I'm going to also run one more test. So once your printer is connected, what you'll want to do is go into at least two applications and make sure that you test it out in those other applications. I'm going to swing over to Notepad. So in Notepad, I'm clicking File, Print, and I don't see the Epson selection just yet. And I'm clicking Find Printer. I still don't see the printer listed. So I'm gonna return back to the Epson instructions to see if there's maybe another step. So I've gone through these steps already and I've registered and I've completed all the steps except on number 10, it says see our activate scan to cloud and remote 
print instructions to activate the scan to cloud. That's actually, that doesn't apply. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into control panel and see if I can add the printer that way. So in hardware and sound, view devices and printers. I'm gonna click add a printer. And I do see my printer listed, so it is selected, and I'm going to click Next. Okay, now it's still connecting, so I'll just give it a moment. Okay, and now it's on the next step, installing the printer. And at this point, it did proceed, and it is installing the printer. Okay, and I've gotten this message that I've successfully added to printer to check the, if the printer is working properly, print a test page. And momentarily, I could hear the printer printing. Okay, now that the test page has printed successfully, I will close, I will click Finish, and I will return back to Notepad and check to see if the printer is now available. Okay, and now I see it listed, I will click and select print and I could hear the printer printing and I'm also going to check in Microsoft Word. Okay, back in Microsoft Word, I have a test document ready to print. So I'm going to select control P to print. That takes me to the print dialog box and for printer, I'll select the Epson, which is set up now as the default, select print. And I could hear my printer currently printing the test document. So that's all there is to it, to setting up your wireless printer. This is an Epson XP410, but this should work with any type of Epson printer. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.